Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you know that I recently opened an online store and one of the things that I'm offering in it are KDP interiors that come with the InDesign source file. So I'll post the store link below this video and if you're interested in the InDesign products then once you land on the page go to tags and then click on InDesign and you'll see all the products that have the InDesign source file. Right now there's only three of them, but I will be adding more in the future. So for this video, I'm going to focus on this one, which is the one that has 2022 to 2024 monthly calendars. It is a free product. So once you order and download it, you will get a few files. One of the files you'll receive is a PDF file, a KDP interior that you can upload as is. And I'm not going to spend much time on this PDF file, but I just do want to point out that when I uploaded it to my account, I did not receive any error messages, so I don't expect you to either. Another file that you receive is the InDesign source file. And of course, this is where you can make changes to the pages. And I do recommend that you customize this interior rather than uploading that PDF interior as is. So let me go over a few ways that you can customize it. For starters, um, this is a three month or a three year calendar. And what I can, what you can do is break it down into a one year planner, a two year planner, 18 month planner, 90 day planner, or whatever time range you want. And to do that, it's really easy. You start by deleting whatever monthly calendar pages that you don't need. So say, for example, we want just a 2023 to 2024 planner. What I would do then is just delete the 2022s. So I'm going to go over here and select all the 2022 pages. And one thing to keep in mind, though, is that once you delete these pages, they're no longer available. I did not make the master pages up here. So if you're going to break up the planner, to a different size, then make sure that you're working on a copy and not the original. And actually, you should always be working on a copy. So I have all of the 2022s selected, and I'm just going to drag them to the garbage bin and delete them. So now if I go back up here, I can see that my planner starts with January 2023. Okay, so now let's go back up to the top and see what we have. So we have the This Belongs To page, Holidays. Since 2022 isn't going to be a part of this planner, we don't need this, the holidays for 2022, and we don't need this 2022 annual calendar page. So I'm going to go up here to the Master Page section, as that's where I design these pages. And Actually, right now, in the newer version of InDesign, master pages are now called parent pages, but they act the same way. So I'm going to start by just removing this 2022 column by highlighting it and deleting it. And then I want to resize this table so it takes up the whole space. So I'm going to just press W to see my margins. I'm going to move this line over and then move this line over too. And now I just need to change the size of each of the columns so they're the same size. So I selected them all and I'm going to go up here to table, distribute columns evenly. And then next I'm going to do the same for this side. I like to have my master pages the same on both sides because then when you make a page down here, you don't really have to make or be careful about having the right side or left sides correct. So I deleted that table and I'm just going to copy and paste this one over. Okay, so let's go back down here and see what we have. Okay, so the holidays is fixed, but I do need to remove this 2022 annual calendar page. So I'll do that by selecting that page and deleting it. Okay, so now we have a problem. When I deleted the page, um, it messed up my monthly layout. So I'm going to undo that. And now I have the monthly layouts back to normal. 
So what I'm going to do is instead of deleting this page, I'm going to just put something else here. And I'll do that up here in the master or parent page section. Um, so I'm going to start by just selecting a different parent page and making a copy of it. And then I'm going to rename this new copy, whatever type of page it's going to be. So I think I'll make it a special dates page. But you can make it whenever you want. You can make it a birthday page or maybe a place for people to write down their goals or maybe a habit tracker or whatever you like. And then what I'm going to do is select all of these calendars and remove them. And just so you know, all these calendars are made up of tables. So each page has 12 tiny tables. So I'm just going to select them all and press delete. So I'm not going to take time in this video to design this page as I really want to continue with how you can customize this interior. So let's just go back down here and see where we're at. So I still have this annual page up. So what I need to do is repoint this page from the, pointing to this annual 2022 master page to this special dates page. So I'm going to just select it, go to apply parent to pages, and then go down here to special dates. So now I have the belongs to page, holidays, special dates, you know, to design later. And then the two annual calendars and then the monthlies starting with January 2023. And then if we go all the way down to the bottom, the last calendar is December 2024. And then I have a few pages of notes. So you can also put more things down here, more note pages or other types of pages. So let me go over now a few other ways you can customize this interior. Okay, another way you can customize the interior is by changing the fonts. And I have all of the fonts assigned to a character style. So to change the font, um, what you need to do is click inside the text box. And this page is actually built up here as a master page. I need to do that up here. So I'm going to click inside the box. And I don't know if you noticed, but when I clicked inside this, the highlighted row, moved from down here to up here and that's because it it now highlights the character style that wherever you clicked is assigned to. So I'm going to double click on this one, go to basic character formats and then change the font to something else. And then I think I'll just make the size a little bit larger. Okay, so now let's go back down here, see what we have. Um, I don't want to spend, spend a lot of time on the fonts, but let's go ahead and change these pe page headings too. And again, they're, these pages are built up here, so we'll just go and pick one of these master or parent pages as they're called now. Click inside of one of the page heading text boxes, which then selected this page header character style. So we'll double click on that, go to basic character formats, and then change the font. So again, this one's a little bit smaller, so let's make it larger. Okay, so when I did that, I don't know if you noticed, but down here now I have two errors. Um, I didn't have any before, and I suspect it's because the words are larger now and the text box is too small. So what I'm going to do is just double click down here. And then, yeah, it says oversized text. So I'm going to double click on this text frame and it took me to the notes master page. And so the, the larger words didn't fit inside of here. So what I'm going to do then is just, um, I'll close this out, go back to page header and then make this slightly smaller and see what happens. Okay. So now, um, that fixed that the error message messages are all removed. So that's just something you need to keep your eye on. Um, let's move on to something else. So let's go back up here and let's go ahead and change the look of these annual calendars. So to do that again, go to the master pages, 
Um, I'm going to zoom into the calendars so you can see them a little bit better. And if you notice, there's a stroke going around every single number. Um, these days when I make annual calendars, I kind of like to have no stroke. So what you can do is just select all of the rows and then go up here and change this to zero. Okay, so it didn't change all of the strokes. Um, the ones going up and down are removed, but not the ones going across. And actually, I kind of like how this looks, but let's go ahead and fix this. Sometimes you have to um, try it a few times. So I selected all the rows again. And the problem is up here. If you look up here, um, all of the outside borders and the line going up and down is highlighted blue, but not the line going across. So I'm going to just select this line. So it's now highlighted blue. Go back here, change it to zero point. And now you can see that the strokes, all of the strokes around the numbers are removed. And then what we can do is also change the row colors. So um, let me just go ahead and select this second row. And I'm going to go here to Table, Cell Options, Strokes and Fills. Right now I have it at black with an 80% tint. So let's just change this to paper and see how that looks. Okay, so it made the row white and you can no longer see the weekday headings because it's their white text. So I need to make those a different color. So I'm just going to highlight this row again and then go up here. Actually, um, you know, I made this a character style. So go over here to annual weekdays, go to character color. And right now it's paper, so let's switch that to black. Okay, so now you have the the letters showing again. Um, it looks kind of plain, but you know I don't want to spend a lot of time fixing up this table. It's something you guys can play with. And then let's change the coloring of this top row. So again, we'll select the row, go to Table, Cell Options, Strokes and Fills, and then we can change the color. And I know that with KDP, we do most everything in black and white to save printing costs, but you can also add some color to it. So just for fun, just make the top row a pink color and let's see how that looks. So whatever you do the changes, um, I believe you're gonna have to do all of the changes to each of the tables individually. So I'm sorry about that. But let's go ahead and move on and see what else we can do. So we're going to zoom back out. And then let's go back down here. And let's take a look at this monthly page. Um, so these monthly pages, they are nothing more than just tables. I did not make the calendars up here, as I mentioned before. Um, but the one part I did make up here is this note section because this note section goes on every single page. So the thing is, if I didn't make this note section a master page, if you wanted to change this from notes to goals or to do, you would have to go to each individual page. So that's why I made it uh, this part into a master page or parent page again, as it's called. So this one is called monthly notes. So it's just a simple word with the lines going down, so you can change that to something else. For example, goals. And then when I go back down to the calendars, they all say goals. Um, and you can have some fun with it. Um, for example, you can delete some of these lines. Um, just select them, press delete. I'll just delete a few more. And then you can highlight all of these and copy and paste and then move them down here. And let's just check the margins really quick by pressing W. So I need to move these up a little bit. Okay, so then what you can do is like maybe have goals up here and notes down here or a to-do list or whatever you like. Um, you could also add something on the top um, image or something like that. So let's just go back down here 
and I'll press W again. So now you have goals and notes. So, you know, these are just a few ideas. Um, in this video, I showed you how to change the fonts, how to modify the holiday list, um, how to get started on a new page, how to change these calendars. Um, you're not seeing it up here because I think I made the change to the 2022. Okay, 2023 annual. So let's go back down here. Okay, so I'm glad we caught that. Okay, so if you go back up here, I made the change on the right hand side, but not the left hand side. And then if you go back to the pages, the 2023 is on the left hand side. So that's why I like to make the two pages the same. So what I'm going to do is just go back up here to the master pages and I'm going to select this box, delete it. And then I'm going to select this box and copy and paste it over or this table rather. So I'll just have to move it and align it up. It's, I don't, it doesn't look like it's aligned perfectly, but it's something that, okay, that looks better. And then let's just go back down here. Okay, so now you can see it has the pink page or the pink January heading. So that's, again, that's why I like to have the two sides looking the same. Let's go back up to this. Yeah, so matching matching pages on the left and the right. Okay, so I think that's it for now. Um, you know, this template is free for you at the Second Half Dream Store. So go ahead, get it, make some changes, have fun with it.